Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to start your own validator nodes on zero gravity testnet. So I prepared a, a plain AWS instance to uh, for demonstration. First we need to get the software that's uh, needed to interact with uh, a zero gravity chain. So first we need to clone the software. Not here we use the V0.1.0 branch and then we need to install the dependencies. Okay, uh, I've already installed it, so it exits uh, quite uh, quickly, but it may take some time if it's the first time that you run this command. And then we need to enable the environment variable by sourcing the profile. And now, let's see. Now we have this command ready. Okay, with this uh, command, we first need to config our chain ID. Uh, for the upgrade version of our uh, zero gravity testnet, it's ZG Tenement underscore 16600-1. And uh, then let's initiate our node. So here we put our validator name. So you can put any name that you want to name your validator, but uh, do uh, notice that it only accepts ask two characters. So for example, let's say um, test validator. Let's initiate the instance, the node, it will return a JSON file. Uh, it's fine. Uh, you don't need to worry about the content of it, but it basically shows that uh, you run this command successfully. And then we need to get our genesis file. So to get the genesis file, Let's first remove the default Genesis file, which is downloaded or which is created from the previous command. So if we check dot zgchain config, we can see there's already a Genesis file. So let's first remove it. First remove it. And then let's download the official Genesis file, which is provided by the ZG team from the release page. Okay, this Genesis file needs to be downloaded and uh, configured correctly. So let's download it. Okay, now let's see. Config. Okay, now there's a new Genesis file. And uh, then let's verify that this genesis file is valid. Validate genesis. Genesis. Validate. Oh, oh. Yep, here it is. Do. Did you change validate genesis? Okay, so it says it's a valid genesis file. And we need to also config our config.tomo file config config.tomo here it only requires you to update the seed field let's see here yeah so we provided four seeds for you to connect 
in order to sync with the current uh, latest uh, uh, chain status. And uh, also it's worth noting that uh, once it's, it's at uh, Asian Pacific, uh, uh, Hong Kong region, so users from Asian uh, region can also connect to at least one node in order to download the blockchain data. So the last one is from the Hong Kong region. Uh, you can also configure your own persistent peers, which is used to keep a persistent connections to these nodes. Okay, then let's save it. All right. Now we can start our node. We need to first sync our node to the latest block height uh, with, the, with the current blockchain latest status before we can create our own validator and add it to the validator set. Okay, it uh, takes quite a bit of time to sync uh, for the first time and it requires a bit patience here. Okay, now it's sinking. If you can see it, the height is keeping increasing, and when the height is at the latest height, uh, we are uh, good. Okay, now we see that this node has uh, been synced with the latest uh, block height. Now we can create it our own validator. We can do zero G chain keys add, and we we'll give a name to our validator account. For example, just the validator. Uh, note here we need to add dash dash ETH here as a flag because um, there are currently two. Uh, encryption algorithms. Uh, if we do not add this uh, flag, it will use another one which is not compatible with the ETH operation. And you cannot export an ETH format address. And uh, you basically can, cannot do ETH, form, ETH format uh, transactions, etc. So to be compatible with ETH, we add this flag here. Add and give a password. Okay, now if we check our local key ring, we can see that this validator, validator has been added to the local key ring. Okay, now before we execute the create validator uh, transaction, let me transfer some tokens to this account so that uh, it has enough amount of tokens to send transactions and uh, be in top validators. See the balance of this account. Should be query bank balances. Okay, now we see it has basically a thousand uh, A0GI token. Now we can execute the create validator operation. It's a little bit long. Make sure you change the necessary field. Here we should be using the validator, which is the local uh, validator account. And uh, let's see, 
the moniker and amount. Okay, let's change the amount here. to be 500 500 is it 500 I think this is 500 okay and uh, the moniker But the name, let's name it test validator. Yes. Okay. Now let's see. It's in a list. Date. Okay, you see this test validator is ranked uh, number six with 500 uh, staked tokens. So, yeah, that's all for the tutorial. Uh, thank you for watching.